Black Jesus, the ambassador to the streets, back to drop more jewels about the music business, RBI, man, real business information, music business one-on-one. -on -one. This particular video right here, y'all, is about managers, having management in the music business as far as artists is concerned. Now, you know, the thing about management is very touchy because uh, to start off, in order to be um, managed, you have to have something that's manageable. So um, this is no disrespect, but to be an independent artist um, doesn't necessarily that you need to be a management. There's no reason why um, an independent artist with just his day-to-day -day grind going on and the whole uh, trying to make it thing in the background does not necessarily need management because you have nothing to manage. Um, going to your open mic shows, getting with the promoters, setting up shows, um, calling this one, calling that one, you basically can do all of that on your own. You do not need any management when you novice, you just starting off, and if you don't have anything to manage. So I just had to put that out there before we get into this video because a lot of artists fall short because you independent grinding, looking for management or trying to network, but you want to have people to talk to your manager. Now you have nothing to manage, and there's no disrespect to anybody out there working at just levels to it. As far as the management thing is concerned, most managers who are credible managers have went to business school. They have got some kind of uh, degree, uh, bachelor's in some kind of uh, business of some kind of paperwork. Or either if they haven't been to school to have a degree um, in business, their company is registered in um, the Better Business Bureau or anyone online where you can look them up. So just to say I'm a manager with no paperwork, with no kind of formal training, just to be somebody's cousin or somebody's brother, somebody's sister, your mother, doesn't qualify you to be a manager in the music business. Had to put that out there. Also, as far as the monetary gains or the management goes, your manager usually gets about 15 or 20 percent. Now, this is after you've grinded to the point where you now have something uh, to manage. You now have something that's, 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 that's worth moving. You need help with your situation. Now, in comes your manager. You do your due diligence on the manager. You make sure that this manager is serious about what they're doing um, as far as their business is concerned, whether they have some kind of degree in management or have a full-blown management company that's up and running that you could do your due diligence that have paperwork past artists to show the success of what they've been in a management um company also now that you figured out you know you got you a good manager you 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 ready to work you finally got you a place now where you can start um needing help, needing managing with all of your things. Now, when you break down a manager's contract, they usually get about 15 to 20%, depending on the management, depending on the situation. But that is typically the uh, percentage uh, when you start talking management for artists, about 15 to 20% of your um, uh, gross is uh is what they get. And so just make sure that you that you guys are playing and you know the numbers that's um, you know needed for management to take their hassle, so 15 to 20 to 20 percent. Now, for managers, um, as far as the artists go, they're not our parents. They're not meant to take care of us. They're not meant to be our Uber driver. They're not meant to um, pretty much live your life for you. They're not there to uh, give you money. Uh, to be your bank, they're not there to be your your mother, your father, any of that. All of that is extra. The foundation of managers is to counsel and advise. Counsel and advise. For instance, you're an artist, you're working. Nike want to work with you. Uh, 
Adidas want to work with you. Your manager's job bills to get in there, figure out that situation, see what's best for you, dig into the contracts, dig into the information, talk to those people, kind of like shielding the world from you as an artist so you can just concentrate on your music, concentrate on what you do best, and let the managers do their job. But like I said, you have to have something to manage. And that's what that manager does for you. He manages, he counsel, or he or she counsel or advise. And not your mother, not your father, your parent, your bank, or any of that. They not they don't have to listen to your 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 your, uh, your your sob stories about what you got going on in your personal life. It's not that kind of show. They're here to counsel and advise for you. They're here to make sure that your contracts are right. They here. To help you make that decision if you want to mess with Nike or you want to mess with Adidas. And if you ain't to that point in your career right now, the the sub the subject or even having a manager right now is somewhere you shouldn't be. You should be focused on getting your brand off the ground. You should be focused on building yourself up so you can now have have something to manage in order where you can now get you a man manager where now you can start working and have these things working out for you. So I had to put this video out there, man. Dropping jewels, purpose of a manager. When is the best time to have a manager? So I hope I touched on everything. Y'all like this video. Y'all share this video. If you're watching this on video on YouTube, hit the subscribe, man. Tell a friend. Y'all comment. Let's help each other build. Any good managers that's in the game that's working, y'all get in this uh, comment section and let's network, y'all. Until the next video, the ambassador to the streets, and I'm gone.